Hi, to, uh, Capricorn, not Taurus, Capricorn, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from Heart. Really sorry that your reading is extraordinarily late. Um, all I can say is sorry, I have been ill recently, uh, just getting over it now, starting to fall back to my normal self. I've also, as you can see, I'm in a different setting, ignore the black bags behind me, it's got loads of stuff in it that needs sorting through. Uh, still got a few more things that I've got to do, a few more things that I've got to set up, blah, blah, blah. Um, and also I've had a lot of personal readings obviously in because the website is always pretty much busy. But this month has been one of just really trying to get things sorted out. I happened to move into my place earlier than expected. Um, I think it was the 7th of April rather than the 22nd I was meant to be moving in. So uh, I'm in my own home finally. It's lovely. Um, and yeah, um, I'm going to do... I think what I'm going to do with you guys is I'm going to do two separate readings. I'm going to do your um i'm going to do between that for may and april what i see coming in so i'm going to do a joint reading together okay uh, i'm not going to lay any extra cards for it. i'm going to keep doing the same eight cards but what i can see happening between now and april so the sorry the end of april into the end of may that's what i'm going to be doing for you guys so you've got both your readings coming up now um, only because it's just going to be easier for me to do it that way and it will just ensure that you get your main reading really quick okay so um, I'm using my Rider weights. part of my appearance I'm looking a little bit disheveled I don't really have the time at the minute to be doing the whole dolled up makeup look uh, because I'm so busy with everything else so pardon all this but it's the reading that you want right so that's the most important thing um, just going to check my cards that I don't have any reversals because I don't really like having reversals in the cards. Um, if I can help it. So let me just sort through these and see what's coming up between now and the end of May for Capricorn. Yeah, it's a really, really busy time for me at the moment. Extraordinarily busy and I'm just trying to, uh, you know do that because I enjoy the personal readings and stuff anyway I enjoy running the website and um, you know but now that I'm in my own place I should be able to get into a little bit more of a groove okay so universe spirit show me what's coming in for the zodiac sign of Capricorn for the end of April going into the end of May show me Give me the forecast. I need two cards from the top of the deck to show the general energies for these next six weeks or so. Show me Capricorn for the next six weeks, please. From now until the end of May. Show me the next six week forecast for the zodiac sign of Capricorn. Give me the next six weeks forecast for Capricorn. What's coming up for Capricorn? Sun, Moon and Rising signs in the next six weeks, please. Show me Capricorn in the next six weeks. Give me Capricorn in the next six weeks. I need to see what's coming up for Capricorn. The zodiac sign of Capricorn in the next six weeks. What's coming up for Capricorn? Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Oops. <sighs> Show me what's coming up for Capricorn. What's coming up for Capricorn? Sun, Moon and Rising signs in the next six weeks. So from the end of April going into the end of May. Show me what's coming in for Capricorn. I need to see the two top cards that show the general energy for Capricorns. The bottom card which will serve as their advice for the next six weeks. And the middle eight cards. Okay, so I have meditated on the cards. Sorry that I had to keep bending over and picking up the cards. I'm always kind of like, they're always kind of going all over the place. Uh, and let's separate them. Let's separate them into three and collect them back up. And we're going to put down two at the top for your general energy. The one from the bottom, which will serve as the advice card for the next six weeks. 
and four, eight in the middle, which will be the energies, people, situations potentially that could be coming in uh, for you guys. I hope this lighting's all right. It's really good lighting in here, funnily enough, so uh, hopefully you can see me quite well. Got a reversal in there. You know, I have a lot of people that say to me, Capricorn, why do you always give us a bad reading? I can't help the cards that come out, okay? That, that's something that I cannot do. I can't influence the cards. I'm just a reader, okay? I flip the cards, I concentrate, and I meditate on them, and whatever comes out, comes out, okay? Um... Your advice card for the next six weeks is the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is a card about evaluation. Okay, so this guy is looking at six pentacles on a bush and one at the bottom. Okay, and I always think to myself, okay, so when you get cards like this, the Seven of Pentacles, I always kind of split the numbers up. So I look at the Six of Pentacles. Well, the Six of Pentacles as its own card, as its standalone card, uh, is about giving and receiving. But broken down, because it's a number six, it's about trying to create some balance and harmony. That Six of Pentacles card can be one of unfairness, though, and something that's quite unequal, all right? Because one person is receiving four coins on that card, and another person, I don't think, is receiving anything. And I think the guy that's handing out the money retains two for himself, potentially. But the ethos, the general idea of that card, Capricorn, is about giving, receiving, and it's also at its heart of the card is about creating a harmonious environment not just for yourself but also potentially for others but as harmonious as you think it is so this person here i look at these six pentacles and he feels quite good about what he's done but he's also looking at if there are need to be any adjustments, okay, or if he needs to add anything else. Because why else would he want to add a seventh pentacle to the car, to the to the actual bush? Well, he wants to add it because he's wondering if there's anything else that he can do to make it better. The one pentacle is the Ace of Pentacles. So this pentacle that's left over is actually the Ace of Pentacles in its normal card, which suggests new beginnings fresh hopes, it can uh, suggest money coming in, money in the hand usually, it can suggest a new contract, it can suggest if you run a business that you're going to get paid or you're going to get some money in, but it's really a card about being realistic, okay, so it's like a new realisation card and this guy has a realisation that he could either carry on the way he's been going or try something new. And I feel at the heart of the advice card for you Capricorns is do we carry on the way that we're going or do we actually try something new? Because you're evaluating. When you get the Seven of Pentacles, it really is a card about being at a crossroads in our lives. This is why he's evaluating. He's thinking to himself, have I gone as far as I can go with these Six Pentacles on the bush? And should I head up in another direction or is it better than the devil you know and I should really carry on with this? So it's really two cards in one, okay? The sixes in the tarot are cards about harmony, balance, but they can also be cards about adjustments. So adjusting to a certain idea or a certain way of being. The sixes are ruled by the lover's card, which is the major card that rules all the sixes. It's number six in the major arcana. And that card, the lover's card, is often indicative of two souls that are joined together. So it's a harmonious card. But it can also be two people that are apart. So the card in the ethos is really about, do we make an adjustment on this situation? Or do we go our separate ways? And really this is what you have within this card. So I feel it's a real time within the next, next six months, uh, Capricorn, of looking at your life and deciding whether you want to 
go along a certain course or whether that you've probably already been going along or whether you want to separate from that and move on. Your general energy is interesting because we have another number six, which is the six of, uh, sorry, it's not another number six. It's actually number six on its own because that's the seven. It's the six of cups as the first card and the eight of wands, I hate this table, and the eight of wands as your second card for your general energy. The Six of Cups is a card that's rooted in the past. So often when you get this, especially if you get it, you know, I've done reading for people where the Six of Cups comes up in the present situation. And sometimes that can mean that somebody is being, um, what's the word, seduced. Because this card can be seen as a seductive card. Somebody's trying to seduce a younger person there. It can also be a card of, again, giving and sharing. And it can also be a card of the past. Usually when it comes in a present situation, I've found that a lot of clients are rooted in the past or they're thinking of the past or the past is something that is very much a part of their present. We also have the Eight of Wands showing up here. The Eight of Wands is a card about flight, space, but it's very much about things being up in the air. Okay, And I feel that things are up in the air for some of you guys in the month of... Um, sorry, I just looked at a beautiful feather flying through the air outside my window. And I feel that for some of you guys, things might be up in the air. Those arrows, they never touch the ground. You don't see them landing on the ground, which means that they're just flying through the air. Sometimes this is where things are just literally in suspense, suspended. But we also have the past here. For some of you guys, it might be communication from the past. It might be communication from someone who you haven't heard from in a very long time. Okay? For some of you guys, it might be a case of that you're contacting somebody from the past, somebody that you haven't heard from in a very long time. When I put both cards together, potentially it means past messages, because the Eight of Wands is often the message card, and the Six of Cups is to do with the past. So maybe for some of you guys, this is what you're needing to reevaluate that a message comes in from somebody from the past. And you're wondering potentially, do I carry on going along that path or do I reinvest my time into that situation or do I just go for a completely new beginning? So there is the potential for that for some of you guys, okay? But I'm feeling the general energy is one of, there's, there's something to do with the past and it could be something to do with, um, I'm getting the sense for some of you guys there might be something to do with a holiday as well because the Six of Cups can often represent maybe a holiday, maybe going back to a place that you used to go to as a child and the Eight of Wands can be flight, an air trip, aeroplane or simply just a move, just moving somewhere, just going somewhere. So I'm sensing for some of you Capricorns, it could be a case of you're going back to the past. And maybe the going back to the past makes you reevaluate something about your own life. We'll come back to those general energy cards in a moment. If any of you guys know how I actually read, uh, you know, I'll start off with a bare skeleton and then we'll build on the reading in the centre cards and then see how that changes uh, the general and the advice card potentially. So I feel that uh, the centre cards, the eight cards, we start off with the hermit. The Hermit is all about inner reflection, it's a number nine card, it's where we go inward to try and find a solution to something, where we're trying to find some clarity, that's what the Hermit is, okay, he's often considered somebody who's on their own, potentially, somebody who's single, if you get this in a love reading sometimes and it ends up in an outcome position, sometimes this can mean that you're probably going to be single for a while, or even if it's a centre card then it means that potentially you might be single. You might be going through a time of solitude. I feel that some of you guys have been hurt. Okay, because I see how the hermit, if you can see there guys, the hermit turns his back on the Ten of Swords. Can you see that? I also look at tarot interaction. So he's not looking towards the dead body, he's turning his back on it. Okay, and I feel that some of you guys potentially have turned your back or you've gone for a time of solitude or maybe a situation that has died or maybe a situation that you consider dead. I'm getting the impression that some of you guys are 
there is potentially the lack of awareness. That it's it's saying to me there's a lack of awareness on the situation on your part potentially. Because I see how the hermit doesn't face that ten of swords. He's turned his back on it. He's trying to evaluate or think about something to do with this ten of swords. The ten of swords is often the card where literally it can be that you're being stabbed in the back. When I was uh, when I was working at that place last year, that large company, I would often have this if I went for a reading. My reader would often say, be careful of that card, Carol, because it means ruin. And it came true. It, I was absolutely ruined at that place that I worked at. It was absolutely awful. So it's a very dangerous card, it's the Ten of Swords. And there are a lot of readers that will tell you, Capricorn, on general readings, it's you're overcoming something. Because, you know, and, and every reader is different in how they interpret cards a lot of the time. But I feel that as you're turning your back on this Ten of Swords, this is something that will all, already have happened. Okay, I don't feel it's something that's going to happen. It might happen going into these next six weeks, but I feel that this is you guys trying to recover from something. Or you're taking yourself out of a situation that no longer seems revivable. Okay. This might be something that's happened in the last few weeks, or it might be something that is the energy is still very much around you. But I'm sensing here for some of you Capricorns, you're questioning something. You're questioning something about a situation that may have died, a situation that no longer uh, seems revivable, that no longer seems that you can resuscitate it. The Hermit seems to turn the different way. He's not walking into this. He's not trying to avoid it. He's actually just turned his back on it. Okay, so there isn't the avoidance of this. This is literally like you've told the person or, you know, there's been an open discussion. This relationship can't be anymore. And I do feel that in some way, um, I don't know what kind of relationship this is, whether it's love. I'm sensing it could be anything, really, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm sensing it could be anything. It doesn't strictly look to me like it's just a love reading, but I do get the feeling for some of you guys it could be indicative of love. So in the first two cards, we're seeing that somebody has turned their back on something here, okay? They don't want this love anymore. They don't want this situation with the Ten of Swords, okay? For some of you guys, you might be feeling really overwhelmed by something and you might be seeking some clarity. So you might be taking time out. For some of you guys, you might be going home. You might be going back to the family home. You might be going back to a place where you feel secure, loved and stable. Okay, because of this situation here with the Hermit. So, I'm looking at the Hermit turning its back to the Ten of Swords. It seems to me for some of you guys, you might want out of a situation. You might want to kind of escape. I'm sensing escape rather than avoidance, if that makes any sense to you. With the Hermit and the Ten of Swords. And I feel that this is why we have this Six of Cups and the Eight of Wands. It could potentially mean calling home or asking for assistance or asking for some form of help. Because you've come out of a situation that for some of you guys it might make you feel drained. Because the Hermit is not dressed up in finery. He's in the most oldest, raggedy-ish clothing going. Okay, He's got nothing to prove. He looks also very worn out. So I feel that for some of you guys, this is a situation that's worn you out. And you have no choice but to maybe go back to a place where you feel uh, at one, where you can feel peaceful. Okay. We also have, and also this is why we have the Seven of Pentacles. Potentially time to reevaluate something within your life. I'm getting for some of you guys, you might be looking at your own bodies, potentially, if you're older. You might be overcoming some form of illness as well, but it's slowly and surely, potentially. I'm getting with that Hermit and the Ten of Swords. So it's almost like the Hermit has got up and walked. It's almost like the Hermit is the same body on this. And he gets up and he walks slowly but surely. So for some of you guys, it could be to do with recovery. And maybe you are taking a nice holiday. And maybe for some of you guys, you are going to be reaffirming or re, you know, re-evaluating who you are, your lives, that type of thing. 
For some of you guys, it's interesting because we have the Queen of Swords showing here, along with the Three of Pentacles, and she's facing the Three of Pentacles. Can you see that? Now, the Queen of Swords is a card about ideas. She's very much, uh, she's like the King of Swords, she's an analytical thinker. Okay, so when you get the Queen of Swords in a reading, sometimes this can literally mean that somebody's thinking about you. Because she's very emotional, is the Queen of Swords, but she doesn't show it. All the queens are emotional, they're all water-based. Okay. They're very much rooted in, uh, they're not so much rooted in the action of something. They're rooted in the kind of planning something or the making something manifest, if that makes any sense to you. So you'll have the King of Swords, for example, and the King of Swords, what he does is he rationalises, he's very logical, very reasoned individual, but then he'll act on those thoughts. Whereas the Queen of Swords, she plans things, so she will verbalise more than act, if that makes any sense. And I'm sensing some form of a conversation happening here. So I feel with the Hermit, for some of you guys, you'll have taken time out of the situation. You're turning your back on something that seems to be dead, unrevivable, um, there seems to have been an absolute shift for some of you guys. The Queen of Swords seems to be, after that time of thinking, it seems to be that you're ready to kind of talk or you're ready to have a conversation here. So the Queen of Swords is a lot of the time, because she holds her hand out, it's an invite, it's an invitation to come hither, to come here. Okay, so she not only thinks, she makes the invitation. And that could be via a telephone call because it is swords and swords are communication. So her thoughts... She communicates, if that makes any sense. So the swords is usually the thought, and the hand to me suggests the communication. So it suggests, even though then to me queens aren't exactly action cards, like really action cards, like the kings are, I feel that this is more kind of she verbalises something. I'm, I'm seeing verbalisation of an idea or of a, a thought pattern or a thought process. And we see a meeting taking place here with that three of pentacles guys i do feel that some of you guys have been through the mire and i just get this feeling that you're trying to sort something out it could be romantic i feel some of you guys have really taken time out to think about a situation all right you can i can see that something is virtually dead in the water or it's nearing it because we have the tent of swords showing up the tens are usually where something is ended. Really, you don't get tens in, in the tarot. You get cards that go up to number nine, and then there is a new cycle. So, having thought about that as well, with the Hermit card, it's the number nine, which suggests something is now nearing an end. Okay, A process is now nearing its final conclusion. And the Ten of Swords, it's funny because the Hermit is an old man. He's nearing death, very, very old. When you get the Hermit, this is somebody who's in the twilight of their years. Quite an old individual. The Ten of Swords can be something to do with death as well. But I'm not suggesting that in this reading, Capricorn. But it's the changing cycle. So the tens are really number ones because you add one and zero together, you get a number one. And what does number ones mean within the tarot? It means new beginnings. So there's something that is suggestive of a new beginning here for some of you guys as well. As far as I can see with the Hermit and that Ten of Swords. It's almost like where one cycle of life ends, another one begins. And I feel that that beginning comes with... It's almost like you have gone through a thought process and then you're ready to kind of start again or start or begin something again because we have this Queen of Swords and she's ready to communicate her ideas. And the ideas are still in the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is where you make plans. So it's almost like her ideas are now uh, metamorphosis into plans. So there's definitely the progress showing here with those four cards. We see the number nine card of the Hermit, thinking, musing, finally coming to its conclusion. The Ten of Swords, finally starting this new beginning, overcoming something, overcoming that thought process. The Queen of Swords, who's ready to put those thoughts into practice, 
so she's ready to verbalise what she's thinking. The hermit doesn't verbalise, he simply goes inwards, but the Queen of Swords verbalises. So now we have the verbalisation of the idea in which something is now put into practice, something is now put into the wheels, if that makes any sense to you guys. There's lots of progress being made with this Three of Pentacles. So I do feel getting back to the reading Capricorn that this is really saying, you know, something has happened here where there has been lots of thought put into this and now a new cycle is beginning. Now we have the Four of Swords and the Four of Swords is often a card about taking time out to think. It's where we draw back, it's like the Hermit. They're both meditative cards. They can both be seen as people that meditate on something here. But it's funny how we have the Two of Cups in the reverse, which can sometimes mean falling out of love or you're falling out of a friendship. I do feel that for some of you guys, you're falling out with something this month, in the next six weeks. You'll fall out with someone or something. Okay, you need time to think about it. I do feel that you're falling out of something or something has changed significantly with those four cards. The Hermit, the Ten of Swords. Interesting cards, you have a nine and a ten. Nines indicate the nearing of the concluding the conclusion of something where it's nearing the end of its process and the tens equal one plus zero is one the beginning of something new so it's the overcoming often when you see something like the ten of cups it's saying goodbye or the ten of wands which we have and we know there's a major change happening for you guys because we have two tens in the reading ten of swords and also the ten of wands now something has ended something has reached its conclusion and it's a new beginning Okay, I feel that you guys are going to have your confidence, your confident head on, your ambitious head on, and you're looking to verbalise and put your ideas into action, which we see with the Three of Pentacles. Plans are being spoken about, there's conversations being had. I feel for some of you guys, you're going to be praying about something as well in the next six weeks. Maybe praying for some form of an assistance thing here. Because it's funny how we have two cards, the Hermit and the Four of Swords, that are indicative of meditation, thought, quiet, evaluation. And we have two cards, Ten of Swords and the Two of Cups that indicates some form of failure or some form of ending of some type. So for me, there's definitely some re-evaluation of something that has not worked out here. And I feel that there's a massive change coming in, not only because we have the two tens, ten of swords, ten of uh, wands. When you get two tens in a reading, sometimes this can mean a major shift in your career, for example. But the Ten of Wands is also the responsibility card. It's the struggle card. It's where you've got a lot of burdens on your shoulders. But I feel that this is you guys working towards some form of readjustment because we have the Hanged Man showing next. When you get the Hanged Man, it's really about adjusting your viewpoint, adjusting your perspective. But it is, in its essence, a card about letting go, trusting and accepting a limitation, knowing that you've just got to adjust how you think, how you feel about a situation. It's a really interesting reading. Really interesting reading, Capricorn. But I see a lot of readjustments happening. Major changes happening for some of you guys in the next six weeks. To reiterate on the reading, I feel that some of you guys, you know, the general energy won't work for everyone, just as the centre cards won't work for all of you. Uh, Capricorn people okay but I do feel that what's coming up for you guys there is something major that you need to get over and it starts the ball of the new cycle happening okay I feel it's an uncomfortable start though to be perfectly honest with you okay I feel that some of you guys 
after the initial re-evaluation, after taking time out to think, you then start to verbalise stuff and move forward with certain ideas, no matter how painful that is. And I feel that it has been painful and it will be painful for some of you guys. Because we have the Ten of Swords here, right before that Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is suggested as somebody who is a defender of herself. She defends a cause. She's not afraid to stand up for what she believes in. She wields this sword with such confidence and courage. She can be the antagonist, she can be the protagonist. But she's very much a thinking card. She puts ideas into action and the action we see with the Three of Pentacles. So whatever this is, guys, I feel a major shift and it's been an uncomfortable one. For some of you guys, you might be looking to travel. Eight of Wands and your general energy. It might be back home. Six of Cups, the past. For some of you guys, you're going to need to take time out to think because we have the Seven of Pentacles as your general energy. This can also be a card of waiting for your rewards for hard work. Okay? So for some of you guys, you will have put in a lot of hard work. And I see that with the Six of Cups. Six of Cups can also be a card where you work in sales, that type of thing, because it's one person selling or giving a bunch of flowers to another one. Okay? The Sixes are all to do with sharing as well. Harmony. Harmonious interaction. Harmonious relationships. But what's so interesting, most interesting Capricorn about this reading is the Ten of Wands to me and the Handman. Because I feel that it will be a struggle for readjustment for some of you guys. But for some of you guys, you might still be in stasis. You might be struggling to find an answer or find some form of peace. And the Hanged Man says that things are a little bit up in the air. So therefore we have this card here, re-evaluation. Really looking at what it is that you have and what it is that you want. Do we want to go back there with this situation? For some of you guys, it will be a case of, okay, I'm going through a really difficult situation with someone. I need to verbalise something to someone. I need to speak to them because I've taken time out. I've left this person for dead. I've left the situation, the relationship for dead. And what I really want to do is I want to speak. So I'm going to verbalise what I feel. And the Queen of Swords, she will kick your ass. That's the type of female she is. She doesn't hold back anything. She'll speak her mind. So for some of you guys, as the Queen of Swords, you're going to speak your mind. And there'll be a meeting, and there'll be communication with that Three of Pentacles. For some of you guys, you'll take time out from a relationship with that Ten of Swords and the Two of Cups in the reverse. That really isn't working out at all. It seems to me that for some of you guys, there is real distance here. Real distance, potentially, with a partner. The Ten of Wands shows some struggle. For some of you guys, things might hang in the balance with the hand man. Or it might be a case of that you're going to have to readjust yourself. Hence, the Seven of Pentacles. So it's really a kind of a mixed bag for the next six weeks, Capricorn. It's a really interesting reading that I'm seeing here for you. For some of you guys, it could be a returned lover. We do have that Six of Cups there, the past. And the Eight of Wands is communication. It could be communication from the past. And you're having to reevaluate something here with that Seven of Pentacles. Okay, the eight cards could simply be the energies that you're feeling in the next six months, six weeks, sorry. So it could be a case of somebody really hurt you and you need time to take time. Maybe the Queen of Swords is, okay, I need to get this out, I need to speak about this and there's a meeting with that Three of Pentacles, communication. Maybe you come to no final agreement because the Two of Cups up right, right is an agreement card, it's negotiation. When it's in the reverse, it's about negotiation falling through. So there is no rest here because there is no negotiation. And maybe it's a struggle towards having to maybe accept something the way it is. The hanged man. Maybe it's a case of do I accept this person the way they are or do I move on? Do I accept what I've invested in with those six pentacles or do I move on with the ace? Do I look at these Six of Pentacles and think to myself, shit, they need more readjusting or I need to make more adjustments within, the, within this relationship or do I move forward? It's a very, very interesting reading, Capricorn. Really interesting. Whatever this means to you, if it does mean anything to you, let me know. But what I'm seeing is defeat and conquer, I suppose, in a way. 
I am seeing somebody coming back from the past potentially and you're going to need to think about it. You're going to need to really think about it. Okay. I am seeing communication with this person from the past. Where you're actually putting your foot down and you're not taking any shit. There is a meeting being held here. Okay. There is some form of a meeting. I feel that for some of you guys you've really been let down by someone because we do have that Ten of Swords and the Two of Cups in reverse. Both cards can suggest being let down by an individual. I am seeing some struggle here to try and look at something in a different way but I feel that you're finding it very difficult which is why all over this reading it's suggesting to me thinking, thinking whether something's good for you or not Capricorn during the next six weeks. You'll have to let me know how the situation plays out if this is pertaining to any of you guys but I don't feel it will be easy. I don't feel it will be a case of that if this is the case where somebody's really let you down I don't feel that it's going to be so easy for you to forgive and forget or even to let them back into your life. That's why you're doing a lot of thinking. It's not an easy decision for you to make. That's your reading Capricorn for the uh, month of April going into the end of May. I'm so sorry that I was really late but I hope that I've made up for it and have a great day and I'll speak to you guys soon. Take care.